Good day, dear learners. Here we are with the second module of consumer behavior. So, what are we going to see in this? We are going to see a model of the buyer behavior. So, what is that we are going to see in this? What are all the parameters that we are going to consider in this buying behavior? So, here we have the uh, main attributes called the marketing mixes, which is the psychological variables induced by the marketer. The marketer would be giving in the form of advertisement or via the news, maybe the word of mouth of uh, other customers. These things, what influence makes on the consumers, okay? That is, that is what is called as the marketing mixes. So, in this, we have various psychological variables like motivation, perception, learning, attitude, personality and lifestyle. So, here we will see one after the other. What is the motivation? I need a car to buy, okay? But what kind of car is based on the motivation that I have for driving and the amount of money that I have with me? So, that is called motivation. Got it? So, the higher the motivation I have towards the purchase of a particular product, then higher will be my drive towards buying that particular product or the service, right? Perception is the second attribute in psychological variable. So, what is this perception? Perception is what is my level of understanding towards a particular product or variable even before I actually go in for buying it. Got it? That is called as the perception. So, what do I do in this or how do I build a perception? Whenever any movie comes of the famous actor or the actress, there is something called as teaser which comes out, right? So, these teasers, what do they do? What is their job? They create an expectation from the movie. The movie is going to be wonderful, awesome, excellent. So, that expectation is built among the people. That is the perception that the people are going to get. Got it? So, the higher the perception, okay, the better will be the understanding or whatever. But here, there is one problem, okay. The perception, if we are going to give it over here, but the actual quality of the product is over here, then there is a gap between the perception and the actual process of the product or the actual quality of the product. This gap will lead to dissatisfaction among the consumers. Got it? So, uh, even a very good advertisement can kill a very bad quality product. So, we need to understand this very clearly and accordingly we have to give the information to the people and create a perception towards a product. Okay? This is perception. Then comes the learning. What is this learning? See, there are a lot of things happening. E-commerce websites are coming and we are going towards the digital, right? D digital transactions. It's almost a digital transaction. So, how do we get it done? The digital transaction, how does it work? The elderly people doesn't know about it. So, as a service provider of the bank, it is their duty to convert the people from using the cash, from, uh, from the cash to this digital form of transaction. Okay. This learning has to be given. Okay. The high-end cars are coming up. Crows, minimum crows uh, investments are coming up for the cars. So, how do we teach the consumers about it? The speed of the car, the Ferrari, it just zooms past the roads, right? So, for Indian roads, is this good or bad? We really don't know. We cannot really drive the Ferrari at its maximum speed given on the developing country roads. So, is it suitable for those countries? That learning has to be given. Okay. Given that this is the maximum speed, how we can drive the high-end motorbikes? Okay. Even that has to be taught by teaching the consumers about how to drive those vehicles on maybe the Indian roads and other developing country roads. How do we do it? Okay. That learning has to be imparted. That will reduce the number of accidents that take place because of those speeding vehicles on the road. 
Got it? Then comes the attitude. Attitude of the people. If a per person's attitude, it's towards, you know, the rich mindset. We call it rich mindset and the poor mindset. That decides whether I'm going to go for a branded one or a non-branded one. So if my attitude is, uh, say, a go-getter and a rich mindset, I would be going for the branded cars, a really good ones and all that. I will be attracting money towards buying them. Okay, that is a different subject altogether. Then comes the personality and the lifestyle. My personality, what do I uh, presume my personality to be? And what is my lifestyle is? If my lifestyle is all about, you know, earning good money, investing them, having a fun life and all that, that will allow me a leverage to buy branded things. I may be going for Ferrari cars also, right? Got it. Okay, apart from these marketing mixes, the second attribute we can access is the other stimuli. Maybe the social influences. What are the social influences? The family influence, the social class influence, reference groups, the culture of the person who uh, who is involved in buying. Okay, so all these things, the family, the societal, the friends group, the other social groups, these influence the people towards buying a particular product, uh, the brand or the service, okay? Then comes, okay, these things lead to the problem solving process of the decision making, whether should I buy brand A, brand B, brand C of a particular product category. Now, based on this product mixes and the other stimuli, I have the purchase selection. What is a purchase selection? I have the purchase reason, the timing, and the surroundings. What, why do I need this particular brand? I need a car to travel. I need a car to satisfy my ego. I need a car to e manage my uh, societal image, my lifestyle. What time am I going to buy this? Based on my surroundings, my lifestyle, what is it brand I'm going to buy? If I'm having a, uh, say, a rich lifestyle, Okay, I earn good. And if I'm going to buy a Tata Nano car, what will the society talk about me? That is something which affects my ego. Okay, so all these factors put together allow a person to decide whether to buy a particular brand or not to buy a particular brand. Got it? So this is with regard to the model of a buyer behavior. So let's see the psychological variables, intrapersonal variables, one by one. The first one is motivation, perception, learning, attitude and belief and personality, lifestyle. So this is what we just saw. So what is this motivation? So let's see uh, deeper one by one. So what does this motivation mean? So motivation is a need sufficiently stimulated that an individual is moved to seek satisfaction. It could be either physiological, or psychological. Many different motives are often involved in the purchase. It's not just physiological all the time, it may also be psychological. So we have the Maslow's hierarchy theorem or the hierarchy of needs which helps us to understand the motivation. Okay, so let's see that. So what is this hierarchy of needs? Say for example, um, I'm hungry, I need a food, I need food, any damn food, I'm hungry since morning and now it's say, somewhere in the late evening. I'm so hungry. Whatever may come on my way, I would prefer to eat. That is a physiological need. I need rest. Okay. I need food. I need something to drink. I need a house where I can relax. I need clothes to uh, project myself in a good manner in the society. So these are called the physiological needs. Okay. Next come the safety needs. Safety needs is what? the protection for and physical well-being. Say for example, uh, I may need the medical support whenever it's required. So I need the monetary uh, wealth so that I may able to take care of me and my family whenever any health emergency occurs. I should be comfortable enough to deal with that. That is a safety need. In case of emergency, I need money to spend for it okay that is a safety need then comes the so social needs social needs is um, say if i'm going to own the same old button phone even today 
what will the society think about me? What will my friends group think about me? What will my family think about me? I may be cut off from the world. Okay, that is a social needs. It could be with regard to need for the love, friendship, the status, esteem and acceptance by the others. Okay, then comes the personal needs. This is um, uh, maybe self-esteem, accomplishment, fun, freedom, relaxation. So you go on tours, you go for vacation, so on and so forth. So this is with regard to the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which the marketer keenly observes so that they can project their product or the service in a particular category and then give it a go to the consumers. Okay, then according to in which category these products or the service fit in, the marketers would be designing the uh, advertisements. Got it? So what is belief? Belief is a knowledge that a consumer has about the object, their attribute and their benefits. Okay, what do I believe? Okay, so that is with regard to object attribute belief, attribute benefit belief or object benefit belief. So there are three kind of belief. Uh, maybe my grandparents, my ancestors have been telling that money is with people who are bad. Only bad people has money. This is one belief. Okay, so this will lead to a wrong belief system in one's life. Okay, if I go, uh, you know, fast driving on the road, I may meet with accident. So these are all certain beliefs that people have. Okay, uh, it could be like, if I'm going to buy this particular color product, it might not be good. So this is the belief category which goes in play. Then we have the perception, process of receiving, organizing and assigning meaning to stimuli detected by the senses. So there are, uh, uh, these are impacted by the selectivity, selective attention, only certain uh, colors capture us, only certain uh, jingles capture us. Maybe we are just watching a particular movie or something, we are just relaxing at home. Our parents talk about something and in between our name is heard. Immediately we focus our attention over there. This is selective attention, okay? Certain things ca catch our ears. Our sensory organs become sharp when we hear certain words, okay? That is selective attention. Selective distortion is certain things are blocked from our sensory organs. We don't even look at those objects or the product or the service when they are getting projected. Belief system. This is all based on the belief system of people, the attitude of people and the perception of people. Okay. Then selective retention. What is selective retention? Selective retention is though I hear lot many things throughout the day, I don't retain every single part of it. But there are certain things which are near to me, I'll be able to uh, retain them and then apply them in my life. Got it? So this is with regard to perception. So in today's session, we saw about um, the model of the purchase behavior and we saw the psychological variables in detail with regard to motivation and perception. Okay, these two things we went in detail and the remaining part we saw just as a bird's eye view. Okay, so the remaining we can see in the next class. Thank you.